Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome, welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back on the super happy fun farm where things are going pretty well indeed. Currently sitting on $54,000. We are sitting in the first, let's say, quarter of summer. We have 78 days left on our current research and we have some fungus on one of our fields. Which is unfortunate because all my workers are over here sorting this field out. So we're going to be waiting a little bit for something to be done about the fungus. We also have some harvesting to do on our two fields over here as well. So hopefully we can do that before things get a bit rough. But generally speaking, we're doing pretty well. We're making money. We're making honey. We're making cheese. That sounded like the start of a really bad rap, didn't it? We're making... Yeah. Sounded like the start of a terrible... Good lord. Let's not go into that. I have seen some comments, though. I've seen some comments that have said that we should totally go all in on things like juices and on berries as well. So I want to start by having a little look at some of our buildings here and see what exactly we can do. So we do have a small juice factory. $100,000, we can get this. And I believe to actually get the berries for it, we need a greenhouse. So... I'm thinking we're going to get one of these simply because it's $5,000 and we can grow things year round. We also have pretty good space for a greenhouse just over here. So we'll go ahead and get, you know what, we'll go for two of them. I think two of them might be an idea. I'm going to let the construction get done on the first one though before we actually get the second one. And then we'll see how things turn out there. In other news, we're currently sitting at 410 units of multi-flower honey. Hun ugh, 186 units of buckwheat honey. 195 of colza honey. 103 sheep's wool. Zero cow's cheese. And 432 yellow cow's cheese. Not bad. Definitely not bad. I've seen a couple of comments on that as well that said we should probably just go all in on the normal stuff. But we'll not worry too much about it. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is I would like to come over this way and hit this field with the old... Oh, we actually have to just harvest. All right. Let's go ahead and harvest that field. And let's go ahead and harvest this one as well. And let's see. Do we put someone to work in this plot? No. So we just do this as normal. Right. So, Jackson Jenkins, you're going to go ahead and look after the greenhouse for the time being. We'll see how that plays out. I'm also wondering what our profits are going to be looking like on the next sale. Because, again, 520 units of multi-flower honey is... I mean, it's nothing to be sniffed at. Ain't nothing to be sniffed at. Kind of curious to see how the profits turn out. I don't know when we next sell things, though, so... We'll have to keep an eye out and see what exactly happens there. Uh, now, it looks like you guys are pretty much done with the harvesting, which is good. So... I guess you're then going to bail things up or you're going to gather the crops or do whatever it is that you do. Well, yeah, you're going to be doing whatever it is that you do. Which is perfectly fine by me. You guys are doing the same thing over here as well. So just continue doing that. There's no real, no real rush. I think you're actually, yeah, you are done, which is beautiful. So go ahead and get that all bailed up for me. And we'll do the same up on this field as well, which is actually taking a little bit longer. That's all right. They're very nearly done with it as well. So let's get this all bailed up as well, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. All right. 20th of the month and 676 multi-flower. That's, that's a lot. That is a lot. Uh, Jackson Jenkins, let's see here. I want to get you trained up a little bit there, bud, just to make sure that you are better with plants. As for the wheat, 67 days left on that. I think we'll be okay. I think we might end up getting a wheat harvest here. It would be nice. And I'm wondering, we don't have any colza anymore. So let's go ahead and get this uh, plowed as quick as we can. Let's get you two on that. And this one over here is almost ready as well. So let's get that uh, plowed as well. So we'll get both those fields ready for a bit more coals and a bit more buckwheat. Which definitely seems like a good idea. Oh, we just got, we've got up to 94,000. 94,000. I definitely cannot complain. Definitely not going to complain here. 
That's that's good money. That is really good money. Things have definitely turned around from uh, from those autumn and winter months that we had before. I know that. I oh, fungus in the field. We're gonna need to deal with that. Can we maybe deal with that with some antifungus? Gonna have to buy in a fair bit to deal with it, but that's all right, I suppose. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just get the colza planted as well. So autofill that and get it done. We're not really in any rush for more colza anyway, so as long as we can get it done, we'll be all right. But I definitely want to... Uh, is this done? No, that's still not anywhere near as done as I'd like it to be. That's kind of annoying. Really, I think we need more people to potentially work the fields here. Although in those winter months, that might not be as much an issue, I suppose. That definitely might be less of an issue, but... I mean, do we have room for another employee? No, we have 8, 16, 24 people working for us right now as permanent employees. Most of them being beekeepers. Fair enough. I mean, we have six people working factories, so... It's probably all right. Uh, anyway, has this been replanted yet? Mm, yes, it has, I believe. Uh, this one over here is ready to replant with some buckwheat. So we'll get that done so the bees can get back to what they do best. And what is this goal we've got over here? Collect some rye. We're going to reject that. I'm not really interested. Oh, no, that's interesting. After the monthly payments, we did just drop down to $75,000. But we should be about to make another sale any day soon. I think it's on the, like, third of the month that we make sales. So hopefully, hopefully we can go ahead and make those sales and get our money back up. I'm hoping we can get above 100000 because I really want that juice factory. I think that might be something to look into. I've, heard, I've seen a couple of comments that are like, yo, you got to get in on that juice market. So, I mean, we can have a look and see what exactly. Uh, so, apple juice is 22, cherry 39, tomato juice or tomato. Tomato juice is going to be coming in at like, is that seriously $3? That's a bit rough. So basically, the cherry one is the one that we want. What about, like, strawberries? So straw fresh strawberries are 957. Frozen strawberries are 2242. Interesting. Then strawberry seedlings are worth, like, nothing. So that's interesting. So cherry juice is definitely something to look into. And then for frozen foods, we could get the frozen food factory. Which is a pretty substantial building. But that's interesting. So frozen strawberries might be something we want to look into. Anyway, here's the trader coming in. Our money's going to go hopefully pretty well. 103,000. Not bad. I'll take it. And you are still taking your time in there, bud. Come on. That's terrible. That's really terrible that you take so long. Uh, the good news, though, we could put an irrigation system in here for $10,000. I'm actually going to do it. We're going to spend $10,000 to upgrade this with a, an irrigation system so that we never need to water this. Uh, it probably is worth cultivating it, though, so we'll get three people on that as soon as we can. And then we probably want to fertilize it, and then we probably want to put down some, uh, some strawberry seeds or some cherry. I'm not sure which. I think strawberries and then maybe invest in a frozen foods factory. But then we would need more workers that can operate that. So I don't know. I really... I really don't know on that one. We might have to... Uh, we might have to have a strong think about this as to whether or not to go for frozen strawberries, which... I guess frozen strawberries would be cheaper than the cherry juice, right? It's 42000 for the factory. Obviously, plus workers, plus another permanent employee building. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what way to go with that just yet. Uh, we'll let you guys just sort of do your thing and uh, wait to get that field cultivated. Uh, this one's 47 days out from a harvest. This one is 68 days out from the harvest. I don't think we're going to get another colza or buckwheat harvest this year. 
But that's all right. That's not that much of a big deal. This field here is probably going to go completely useless because we didn't do anything with it. And we can't really do anything with it. Uh, I think we need vehicles, honestly. I really think we need vehicles because if we want grass or wheat, we need a big field for it. And we can't really manage a big field without vehicles. It's too slow. It's too tedious. It just... It doesn't work. It's that simple. It just doesn't work, so... Definitely need those uh, those bigger vehicles. Good news, though, is the cultivation is pretty much done here. Uh, there are weeds in one of our fields. Let's go ahead and fertilize this. We'll just sling some manure onto the field. And in the meantime, everybody else can go spray some anti-weed on, uh, on the old wheat field over here. There's insects on the field as well. Great. Just great. Can we also maybe get some anti-insect spray onto the field, please? So let's hit this up with the anti-weed. We'll get two people doing that. Have a fun time, guys. It's a pretty big field for two people to be handling, but sure. Uh, the fertilization's going ahead as well there, which seems all right. Uh, I believe, yeah, that is within a well range as well, which is good, so... We'll get the wheat field dealt with. We'll get this field planted with uh, strawberries. And then I think once we get paid this next month, hire any employee before 14, 12, 2019. We'll probably be doing that. We'll probably be doing that. We need more factory workers for the frozen goods factory. So we'll most likely be doing that. Although I'm curious about what the harvest would be from a greenhouse full of strawberries and how many of those we would need. Because if we don't have enough greenhouses with strawberries, we end up in a situation where we, oh, we could do seasonal workers. We don't need permanent employees for, or do we need permanent employees for greenhouses? Because technically a greenhouse can work all year round. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Uh, right. So let's look at this. I guess we're going to go for strawberry seedlings. We'll buy in 177 units of those, which I can't imagine is going to be too expensive. And this field over here, I think, is still being sprayed. Yeah, so the weeds are gone. The insects, on the other hand, are not. So everybody get on that for me. And we'll hopefully get the insects and weeds off of the wheat field. And then we can go ahead and put in the... We can go ahead and put in the what's-its-face, the strawberries. And hope that that works out, because it might not. So I am thinking that another couple of greenhouses could be a good idea. Just simply because they're $5,000. Like, they're really not that expensive, you know? They're really, really not that expensive. So I don't think... I don't think it's going to do any harm getting another another couple of greenhouses in here. Let's go for let's go for three more of them. And then maybe another house for permanent employees right down here. I think that might be a good way to go cuz most of the people working in the greenhouses should probably live pretty close to it. We can maybe get the factory workers in there as well. So let's do that. Let's get all of that built. Obviously, it's a bit expensive, but that's fine. You want to go through beekeeping training? Robin Sutton. Okay. So, staff list. Robin is right there. We'll absolutely train you in that and get you some endurance training, too. There we go. So, this has been planted 43 days for strawberries. Right. Well, let's go ahead and get some people on this. And if we get anyone else can do this. We have two guys can do that. Do we want to get two guys on that? I mean, they're all going to need irrigation, which is pretty expensive. So, I mean, you guys can work that. You know what? I think I will get a couple more permanent employees here. So, you can do orchards and fields... You can do fields and animals. So we'll get you. We'll get you. And we'll get you. So we'll get you three. And then here we want to do some plowing. 
And here we also want to do some plowing. We probably want to get... Oh, I just put two people on that. Uh, interrupt that work, please. And let's hire one more person that can do field work. So Liam can be hired there. So we'll get you guys on that. We'll get all three of the new places getting worked on pretty much simultaneously. That way we can go ahead and plant a whole bunch of strawberries around the same time. They're all being watered automatically. Obviously quite expensive, but that's fine. The next step is going to be getting ourselves the factory. The small frozen food factory, which is most likely going to go up around here. Which seems fine. Having it just across the road does not seem like a bad thing. Uh, we are still making plenty of honey at the moment. Autumn is approaching though, so I think this next uh, sale of honey might be our last big one. But that's totally fine. That is that is totally, totally fine. Um, we did just pay our monthly bills as well, which is probably going to knock our money down quite considerably. Which is always nerve-wracking, but I think we can probably spend a little bit here. Just making sure that these guys all have a good amount of skill with what they're doing. So we just went back up to $57,000. That is a little less than I would want, I'm going to be honest. Uh, plowing isn't done there, there, or there, so you guys are going to have to be working on that for a little bit longer. I guess that is the one downside to greenhouses, isn't it? They all have to be done manually. You can't really get a machine in there, so that's just the way of it. Looks like this one's done with the plowing, though, which is good, so let's go ahead and get that cultivated right away. If you wouldn't mind. This one's nearly done, and this one's nearly done as well. Again, the watering, like, once these things are cultivated and fertilized, uh, everything else is done. So really, you know, uh, we probably don't want to fertilize when we're cultivating, right? So cultivate that one and cultivate that one for me. And then we'll have all of you go around and sling some... <laughs> I love the term sling. I just, I like to casually, like, just, you know, they've got like a sack of manure under one arm and they're just like, Bleh. Just like, yeah, get on. Go on. Go on, you booger. You know what I mean? Like, just slinging. There's another word I could use, the manure, that begins with S and ends in T. And if you replace the word manure with that word, I don't want to say it because of demonetization, but if you watch me on Twitch, you know what the word is. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I just want you to imagine that word in relation to slinging. Just like, bleh, you know? Just... Just go to town with your sack of manure. Now, interestingly, it has just struck me that the strawberry is doing pretty well in terms of value right now. And it's taking, like, what, a month and a half to grow them? So if we can get, like, I don't know, four greenhouses worth of strawberries every 90, not 90 days, every, like, 45 to 50 days, that's not bad. Although, turning them into frozen strawberries would be preferable. That definitely doesn't seem like a bad thing. I want to go ahead and track strawberries, though, and see how that ends up going. Obviously, we're not going to have any for another 25 days, but that's fine. Uh, so this is fertilized. Let's go ahead and start planting some strawberry seedlings. Uh, we're going to want to do the same there and there when those two greenhouses are done. I'm also thinking it might be an idea to look at miscellaneous stuff for a second and just say, you know what, let's put a tree Let's put a tree down right there. You know, make the area look kind of nice. There's a couple of little trees around there. Apparently one of the trees fell over because it didn't like the other tree. I think they had a fight. That's probably fine. Uh, we are back up to $93,000 though. So we did get one more decent sale. And it, honestly, it looks like we might get one more decent sale before the wind or well, the autumn kicks in. So we might be okay. We might be okay. Uh, let's get those strawberry seedlings in there. Let's get some strawberry seedlings into this one as well. And let's get some strawberry seedlings into that one as well. Obviously going to need to get those delivered. Shouldn't take too long to get them here though. So let's have ourselves a little look. Strawberry seedlings still not here. All right. Well, I think that's them arriving. So, strawberry seedlings. There we go. Autofill that one. And this one here. 
Uh, we don't want to fertilize it again. We want to go to strawberry seedlings, autofill, and do it. There we go. So they can go ahead and get those done. 19 days until our first batch of strawberries are good to go. Uh, interestingly, there's some droughts in some of my fields over here. I guess that makes sense. We have been neglecting some of the fields a little bit. We don't have anyone to go and deal with it. That's a bit unfortunate. We're going to be focusing on the greenhouses. So what we got to do, we got to focus on those greenhouses. Those are potentially going to be, you know, serious profit. Potentially. <laughs> they really, this might fail miserably. I might have gone all in, you know, 5,000 per greenhouse, 10,000 per irrigation. Like, this might be a terrible idea. This might be a terrible idea. We will find out. Uh, Autofill that for some watering, please. Autofill that one for some watering as well. And then I think we are done with the planting on all but one of those. So go and water that as well. And we'll get the fields look af looked after a little bit better. Uh, we are technically in the autumn months, though, at this point. So I'm wondering, are the bees asleep or are they still, are they still doing what they do? I think the bees are asleep at this point. So no more... Oh, no, there's a little bit of multi-flower in there. Are we still producing multi-flower honey, though, is the question. I don't think we are. I think the bees have gone... Have gone to bed at this point. This guy's going out to do some stuff, though, so we'll see what... Oh, no, they are. They are still... They are still doing do, so that's good. Workshop on production management. If I'm not mistaken, that was the workshop that would increase production by 10%. I don't remember exactly, but that actually seems like it could be kind of useful. Uh, let's see here. I still need that annual agricultural school, and we're getting there, but we just don't have it yet. We don't have that money. Uh, reduce the price of buildings by 10%. Let's see here. Access to loans. Higher, I don't think we want the higher loans. Increase the rate of production by 15%. 90 days? Sure. Let's do it. We're getting into some of the longer-term researches. I'll give it that. Are you seriously still not done here? They're still planting? That's a little bit ridiculous. They're still planting there. Also, how goes the loan at the moment? So we paid back, what, nearly half of it? It'd be really nice if I could pay off more of it. It would be really nice to be able to pay off more of that loan in, like, one big go, but... Whatever, it's fine. Uh, we did just make another sale, which is good news. We're at $117,000, so... I think in the run-up to the first strawberry harvest, we may want to look into getting frozen strawberries. Although I guess we also need to see just how many strawberries we're actually going to get. And you guys are still planting. Why is only one of them actually doing anything? That's what I'm wondering. Because I think that's why the planting's still going on here. Because only one of them's doing anything. I think the other ones might be stuck somewhere. And I don't know where they're stuck. Because uh, that can happen. I've seen a couple of people get stuck in uh, different locations before. So it's possible... It's possible that someone's get stuck somewhere. I'm not going to strike. Who are you? What are you? So you work in manufacturing and work with machines. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, eight days left in the strawberries. Let's... You know what? We're going to get this factory. And we're going to get this factory because at the end of the day, we aren't going to be... It's, it's not like we're going to just sell normal strawberries, right? We kind of want the factory. So, let's build the factory. And I'm thinking we build the factory right there. That's expensive, man. That is expensive. Uh, what is this? Field ready for harvest. Wheat! The wheat's ready for harvest? Not bad. Let's get that harvested by everybody. It's our first wheat harvest. I'm curious to see how much we get from it. 
That's going to be good, though. That's going to be really, really good because uh, it means that we can feed the animals ourselves. We still have 710 kilograms of wheat, but, you know, it's going to be nice. Definitely going to be nice. Also, I think the bees are... No, the bees are still producing. Okay. That's actually a bit of a surprise. I guess they... I guess they don't go to sleep until maybe mid-autumn? I don't know bees all that well, I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't, I don't I don't know bees. Bees don't know me. And that's fine. I like it that way. I don't think... I've never... I've never been stung by a bee or a wasp, and I've never broken a bone. There's a couple of miscellaneous facts about moi. I'd like to keep it that way, preferably. <laughs> Everyone I talk to, though, is like, oh, no, that'll change. And I'm like, I don't want it to change. I don't want to break a bone or get stung by a bee. Like, I, I'm quite happy with the, you know, things being as they are. Uh, so we can get three employees in there. So I guess we need to hire three people that can work in manufacturing. So, I mean, we get you, Oscar Reed. We've got Emilia Barnes. And I think we'll go for Evelyn Hardy. And we'll say you guys can go in there. We're going to need to train some of you up at some point. Uh, but the current production is going to be frozen strawberries. And for every 100 kilograms, we'll get 82.5 kilograms. So minus 8%, I believe. Minus 8% or is that the production? I don't know. Is that based on their skill? I think that might be based on their skill. Let's up your manufacturing a little bit and have a look. Minus 2%, right. Okay, so spend a bit of money up on the manufacturing of those guys. I'm not plus 12%. How do you go from 100 kilograms of strawberries to over 100 kilograms of strawberries? I call shenanigans. I call some serious... We take in 100 kilograms of strawberries and produce 112 and a half kilograms of strawberries. Don't ask how it works. It doesn't matter how it works. It just does. Obviously, like, you know, the ice and all that, but I feel like... I feel like that's shady, is what I'm saying. I feel like it's a little shady. It's a bit weird. It's definitely a bit weird. Um, anyway, let's track frozen strawberries as well. This is so close to being harvested. We can actually go ahead and do it immediately. So let's get everybody on that strawberry harvest. And I want to see what we end up with. I want to see how many strawberries we end up with here. Because if it's not enough, then we need more greenhouses. And I really want it to be enough. I really, really want it to be enough. Uh, the harvest looks like it has pretty much been done immediately, which is good news. So I'm curious to see if on top of the uh, the harvest, I mean, hold on, let's, let's have a look at the strawberry numbers for one. So the strawberry numbers are going to be 124, uh, 188, 251. That's not bad. 250 strawberries harvested. All right. So is this... Oh, it is growing again. 25 days. So the plant has to grow initially. And then every 25 days after... That's interesting. That's very interesting. So do we not have frozen strawberries to sell? Is that a thing? Maybe not. I'm not seeing any. What do we got in here? Wait, do we... Do we need to store them in a frozen... Like in a cooled warehouse? I feel like that might be a thing. So they have the strawberries, and now they're producing, and it's actually going pretty well. Okay. Now that's interesting. So yeah, we grow the strawberries, and then every 25 days after harvesting, they grow again. I'm, I'm, I'm quite keen on this. This actually seems like it's going to be super profitable. This actually seems like it could be super profitable, and I'm... Totally done. I'm totally excited for this. I'm actually really excited to see how this plays out. 
I'm also thinking that another another road could be useful. We have a little bit of money, so let's like bring let's bring a paved road over like this. Can we really not do that? So like there. Going to Well I mean we can't go over there. We can go there, so we'll do we'll do that at least and bulldoze that little bit at the end. So there we go. Should have some frozen strawberries moving out soon, I think. I mean, we don't have any in Is that a thing? Like, can we store frozen strawberries in here? Because we store milk, and you would think you would want it to be chilled. So, I mean, small warehouse, fruits, vegetables. What about the, fr the warehouse of cooling? Frozen food, right. Well, that's awkward. That's that's actually really awkward because that means we may not be able to sell those. We may... We may be in need of another loan. And I really don't want to take another loan. Because the one we're paying off right now hurts. The one we're paying off right now really burns a hole in the old... Uh, in the old wallet. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering, can we go to sell here and go to frozen? No, we can't. Okay, what about auto trade real quick? And then auto trade the frozen strawberries. Auto trade all of them. Technically, we have frozen strawberries, but they're technically not where they need to be to be traded. Which is technically making me very anxious because technically speaking, I think we have a problem. I think we may need to sell our regular strawberries and turn off production in here for a while. I think that's probably what we're going to have to do here. Regular strawberries, I mean, they'll sell for... Again, they're not bad. They don't sell terribly. And we do get a lot of them every 25 days, so maybe we do want to sell our regular strawberries. So let's go to auto trade here. Let's look for strawberries. We'll turn that off and we are going to sell the strawberries. We're going to auto trade strawberries and we'll turn this off. So current production, pause that current production. Which sucks because we now have a, a facility and three employees who are trained to use that facility who otherwise cannot do anything. But 16 days, 15 days, 23 days, and 15 days, we will get more strawberries, and we can sell those. And they're worth decent money. So I think it's just going to have to be a waiting game at this point. Oh, so this is good news. Two of the green houses, and I believe it's about to be three of the green houses, are ready for harvesting. So let's get that one underway. Let's get this one underway as well. And let's get this one underway and see just how many strawberries we end up harvesting here. This is pretty big. This is really good news. Eight days we can get this one as well. And I mean, strawberries are perfectly sellable. So I'm actually really keen to see how this turns out. I'm really, really keen to see how many strawberries we wind up with here. Because they don't, they're not terrible. They're not terrible sellers. I mean... If we go to the market real quick and we look at strawberries, they're currently maybe just fourteen fifty versus uh, the yellow cheese, which is a you know let's say nineteen sixty. Uh, so they're not they're not bad. They're definitely not bad. And I mean, if we get a lot of them, which it looks like we are, 300 and 495 strawberries right now, and we're not even done with the harvest, 619 strawberries, we just got up to 77,000 there, and we're, yeah, so that's not bad. We can actually have a little look at the economy uh, and look at the last month, 9,711 on strawberries. And that was, that's kind of nuts. And then we can look and see that once the harvest is done, which it nearly is in a few places. This one's nearly done, actually. Uh, I believe it is 25 days, and we can 
harvest again. I think. 396 strawberry harvested. I think that's from one. Uh, yeah, 25 days. 25 days and we can harvest more strawberries. Not bad. So monetarily speaking, strawberries themselves are are nuts. Strawberries themselves are nuts, right? Like that's that's a lot. If we have a look here, strawberries sell all of them 6577 for the 433 that we have. Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to save up a bit. We need to get ourselves a warehouse with cooling. And then we need to go to town on strawberries. Like, we really need to go to town on strawberries and just get all of them. Just all of them. We need so many greenhouses. And once we start selling frozen strawberries, I think we can afford it. I think we'll be able to afford it. I mean, honestly, and this is maybe wishful thinking, I reckon if we took... Hold on, how much is this warehouse that we need? Hold up, I might be I might be wrong here. 190. So yeah, if we took that hundred thousand dollar loan, we couldn't afford it. We would have to take uh two loans with some pretty substantial interest rates, 15%, 20%. And I don't feel like I want to take those. I don't think it's worth taking those. I think we just want to wait, to be honest. Uh over here is ready to harvest though, so let's go ahead and do that and get everybody on it so we can get even more strawberries. And I think with that, ladies and gentlemen, we can probably safely leave it there for today. Some serious profits coming in from those strawberries, though. We're going to be doubling down on frozen ones as soon as we can afford that warehouse. Uh, it is going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting because I think we'll be able to get that warehouse before the bees wake up. Meaning we'll have honey, cheese, and frozen strawberries coming out of the farm. And I think that's going to be ridiculous money. I really think that's going to be ridiculous money. So with that in mind, thank you, Cannon, for watching. It's been my pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.